Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to another Erin Talks video. Um, get comfy, get cozy, um, get yourself something to drink. I just have some water in a knockoff red solo cup. <laughs> And we're just gonna be chatting today. We're gonna be chatting. I thought about doing this video as like a vlog motivational type thing, but I don't know. I wasn't feeling like vlogging and just honestly just felt like kind of just chilling. Just having a really chill conversation with you guys. I um, feel like we haven't done this in a hot minute unless I'm like live or talking about something serious which in this case thankfully we're not talking about anything too too serious we're just talking about mental health and how to spring clean your mental health um and you don't have to just have it be for like spring cleaning you can obviously use this any time of year um can reference back to this um on just how to revamp your mental health rituals, mental health habits, just overall how you can take better care of yourself when you're either A, need to be motivated for summer, B, need to be motivated for a different season, uh, C, uh, you've been in a slump or just not really quite sure on how to further your, you know, mental health journey, um, or whatever the case may be, I hope that this video helps at least one person out there, uh, whether it's just a tip or just me coming on here to talk to you guys or whatever. Um, we also have Theodore, aka Teddy here. Um, he's just looking out the window, but um, I will be using him as a prop in this video to talk about some things. But uh, without further ado, let's just get started. Feel free to take a sip with me. So I just wanted to come on here and kind of just talk about, like I said, how to spring clean your mind, basically like your mental health in general, and just kind of talk about mental health a little bit. So um, I might be looking out into nature sometimes, but like this is supposed to be meant for you guys to just have on in the background while you're doing whatever um, and just to kind of, you know, chat with you guys. Hello. Um, and yeah, so get comfy, get cozy, let's get right into it. Um, the first thing that I kind of want to talk about when it comes to revamping your mental health or spring cleaning your mental health is to just write the frick down why you want to do that. <laughs> like, basically just take out your journal or take out a piece of paper in general and just write like why you want to revamp it. For me, recently, I've been trying to revamp my mental health because I feel like I'm so glued to the online world that sometimes I'm just like, you know, not fully present in the present moment um, and just feel kind of like just going about life, you know? Uh, check it on social media, you know, when there's like big things still happening in the world. Like life isn't easy. There's things that are going on all the time. Um, and yeah, what really got me thinking about that too was one of my friends, uh, mom just passed away and just even thinking about that, like if it was me in that situation, I would be in a mental, emotional wreck, um, to say the least. And, um, I, yeah, so I've been just trying to focus on, basically I even wrote in my bullet journal, um, for my plans for the month of literally to just less screen time and more being in the present, or at least less screen time and more like doing things off of my phone or, you know, off of a computer or whatever. Today, for example, I had to finish a homework assignment. Um, it was my last day of school, technically. Um, and I had to, uh, you know, just do some things on the computer that needed to be done. And obviously, I still film YouTube videos and such. But other than that, I don't want to be on 
social media more than that because I feel like with already with that social media has become like my job in a sense so I want to have that balance and to be off of it obviously still make time to talk to my friends and you know people I talk to online and such but I don't need to be talking to them every single day that's something I've started to realize is that I don't need to be talking to them every single freaking day <laughs> like I was so accustomed to that like I was so accustomed to you know as soon as my work day was done to just get outside smoke weed and talk to my friends yesterday I decided to just kind of chill out outside and just kind of do whatever and just listening to music and smoking was just more of a vibe than just sitting there high talking to my friends you know what I mean and like that whole thing um so I've been trying to make a conscious effort to you know make my you know time with people much more um meaningful and much more you know personal and you know seeing my friends every single day it it gets kind of repetitive we kind of talk about the same things over and over again and that's why I enjoy I've been enjoying just snapchatting and texting friends more or less more all the time hi hi Teddy <laughs> and um so you know it's then with that with snapchatting and texting it allows us to kind of do whatever we else we want outside of it like coloring journaling um doing some tarot um stuff like that and just you know trying to unplug from all of that because yes watching youtube watching you know videos and stuff i am trying to limit how many times a day i do watch those things because i feel like i watch them a lot i'm home a lot during the day and if it's like a crappy day out or if i'm like trying to do some painting or something I tend to have those things on in the background but I've been trying to like switch it up if I recently listened to music I'll try to watch a movie if I recently watched a movie I'll try to watch a tv show if I recently watched a tv show then I'll put on some youtube if I watch some youtube I go back to music and it's like that cycle um so that's been really helpful is to try to switch up all of that too um, but going back to the, like, writing aspect of the journal part, um, write down why exactly you want to revamp it and how the frick you're gonna revamp it. So, basically, when I was journaling the other day, I wrote out, basically, in my, this is all in my bullet journal, by the way, not this journal, but I will be doing my own separate journal session after this video. I might go for a walk first, um, with my dogs, um kind of you know listen to music get out of my head a little bit get out of the screen and then come back and do all of that which sounds like a vibe anywho um uh yeah so just kind of write down how you're gonna do it so for example with my less screen time and more being present I need to make a list of things and I kind of already did that I just filmed um, my self-care summer workbook video which may or may not, not be out already by the time this video goes up um but um regardless of that I you know um was able to kind of write out some things that are like it was all about like unplugging and like you know all of that which was perfect timing for me to even you know be discussing that but I was able in the, in the workbook to write out some tech free activities and there's a ton of tech free activities to do reading um journaling freaking coloring like without like music to me like doesn't count as being on technology because for me music is like a great way to like have background noise so I don't really count music as that most of the time I'll just play music straight from my tv and that way I'm like not going on my phone and checking stuff like I'll use my tv um, I recently canceled my Spotify, so that's been, like, really helpful. Um, so I've just been using, um, uh, YouTube mu music, and I'm able to play that through my TV and stuff. Um, so that's been helpful to do, so that I'm off my phone, off my iPad, etc. Um, 
Also, another thing to kind of do when it comes to like your tech too to help screen uh, spring clean your mental health is to check in with the apps that you do have downloaded on your phone and see the things that you're consuming. Um, that's a big thing that I've been noticing lately is that I've really tried to make an effort to only consume things that I think are in my best interest. So for example, um, I revamped my TikTok, um, who like got this following and stuff like that. And just, you know, um, the type of content that I was, you know, like I said, consuming and it, um, literally my whole TikTok is either like lucky girl syndrome <laughs> type videos, um, spirituality, tarot type videos. Um, there's some like lifestyle influencers that I follow that talk about mental health and physical health, those types of things. Um, and there's like some comedy stuff. <laughs> so like, that's like my TikTok feed at the moment. Um, so try to revamp your, what you're consuming on a daily basis when you are taking the time to go through your TikTok or go through your YouTube or your Instagram, go through who you're actually following. Because if you're following people that are not at your best interest, you it's okay to unfollow. Um, there was one account that I was following and I was only following her because she was a friend of another influencer that I really enjoy. And I and that's the only reason why I followed them. I liked her vibe too, don't get me wrong. It just you know, all of that. But then I found out that she was doing something really illegal. And so I was just like, I'm not going to talk about that. Um, it's just because of that reasoning and because of the intention, the intent and the, you know, motive behind it. I was like, I don't really want to support that. So I unfollowed that person on everything. But that's just not with that account. Like I unfollowed like a bunch of different accounts that I just thought were either toxic positivity, toxic in general, drama filled, whatever the case may be. Um, and just kind of went through and only had them fit in those kind of categories of the spiritual art, uh, journaling stuff. Um, lucky girl syndrome has been like a thing for me. Um, and just th those kind of vibes mixed in with some like comedy stuff like I love Game Grumps I've been loving Cinnamon Toast Ken late lately and um different channels like that so and bad lip readings hilarious on TikTok um so I mix in a little bit of fun too but I obviously for daily consumption I want to be bringing in good vibes because my vibe attracts my tribe and I've been trying to attra attract more positive friendships in my life because holy crap I've been through the ebbs and flows of freaking friendships so and that's really put a damper on my mental health and I really took the effort to try to revamp what I was consuming and what my vibe was because obviously I was attracting those people into my life because I was you know, mirroring that vibe that they were going for, which was not something I was trying to attract, but I was doing it anyway. So then I took a minute and I was like, I need to reevaluate <laughs> what I present myself to the world. So that was a lot um, to go through, but it was a big process. And I'm at the point now where it's like, if somebody tries to tries to mess with me, like, I don't really care. Like, it's not going to bother me. I'm not going to dive deep into drama or anything like that. I'm just doing me and what makes me happy and what makes me feel successful. And um, just overall, just keeping my best interest in mind. That's been my little flow lately. Um, so yeah, in your journal basically just write out why that you want to get out of this mental slump or revamp your mental health and how you're going to freaking do it and make a plan. Um, and then after that, I suggest either in the same journal or if you have a separate journal, like for me, I have this, you know, like collage art journal type thing is to go in and make a collage 
or a vision board of the you know different things that you want to attract as you can see over there um i have a bigger vision board of just you know things i want to attract and manifest and you know all those kind of things but um yeah i would suggest making a little collage or mood board or even just making it on pinterest even and just kind of have that be your focus um for the next little bit at least for this month. If anything, challenge yourself this month to focus on revamping your mental health and that being your motivation to kind of look at. Um, I wanted to also give you guys some really good books that I have um, that kind of talks about this of revamping your mental health, revamping how you see yourself and the world and all those kind of things. So I wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit. So first here I have you're a Badass by Jen Sincero. I love referring back to this book. This is on my reading list for this month because like I said, I'm trying to be less on my phone and I need to prepare myself by doing some things that are beneficial. So I really want to reread this book again. And so, and I haven't read this book in quite some time and I think that it would be very beneficial for my mental health and also I've been like literally it says here how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life i've been doubting myself so much like i've been like putting myself down for things so i feel like that this would really really help me to kind of not only review but just reread again and um so i i honestly do recommend this you can get it on amazon barnes and noble whatever um and she breaks it down so simply like into steps and she gives, um, from what I remember, she gives real life examples and step-by-step -step guides and honestly, definitely recommend. This is one of like my favorite self-help books. Um, another one that's really interesting and I, I do now follow her on, I subscribe to her on YouTube um, actually. And so I get like, you know, YouTube shorts and videos by her and stuff. Um, which has been really nice because I miss this author and like how she writes and how she talks and stuff and I was really happy to find her. Um, but basically it's Shadows Before Dawn, Finding the Light of Self-Love Through Your Darkest Times. So I highly recommend this book. Um, it first goes into her whole story of how she escaped her... Um, like the cult that she was in and how she was able to love herself, redefine herself and get herself into the real world kind of a thing. And then it goes into her toolkit, the second half of the book. Um, and it talks about, you know, actual skills of how to love yourself more, like actual things to do. So like, for example, tool number one is... I can get to it there it is uh 365 days of self-love and basically all you do is just remind yourself every single day what would someone who loves themselves do today or if you're faced in a situation what would someone who loves themselves do and just ask yourself that and like I don't know just I feel like this whole self-love theme um does coincide with mental health um so I definitely recommend Shadows Before Dawn it not only has a physical example life story in the beginning but it gives you the actual tools to do and it has like journal prompts um to give you it gives you um like actual you know activities to do that will help you through many different avenues of life. So highly, highly recommend this one as well. Um, but I also recommend this book that I got as a gift from one of my ex's family or whatever, but I don't really care. It's called Balance by Susie Dosher. Um, and it's literally, I've highlighted so much in this book and I need to like review it. Um, but basically it teaches you how to, it's a handbook and workbook. You don't have to write in the book if you don't want to. You can literally write in a journal like as you go through and it just kind of talks about, you know, how to find balance in your life. Um, like it goes through the future, the present, the past, change, 
Uh, personal power comes with personal development, choice, life skills. It goes through like self-esteem, emotional strength, daily habits, behavior change, social skills, and self-management. Um, self-awareness, empathy, and compassion. And then emotional intelligence at work. So like um, if you do work, work in the corporate world, it gives you some tips for that and just some final thoughts and the balance workbook at the end. So they're like journaling exercises um, for you to go through. And it looks like I did actually write in here, which is interesting. Um, so I definitely would like to see what I wrote um, in there and everything. But I, yeah, I definitely am going to reread this book and um, I feel like that balance in general, just that word in general, I, I always think about when it comes to mental health and the real world and stuff. So definitely recommend doing those things. Um, another thing I recommend is animal therapy. Like this guy who was about to bite me, but he's fine. He just got startled. Um, but Teddy is awesome. Hi, Ted. Yeah, you were just scared. You just didn't know I was there. Um, animal therapy, any sort of thing like that. Um, come here. Come here, Theodore. So any animal therapy, you know, even just looking at animals outside um, are really helpful. And, you know, just being with an animal or even just looking at animals, like look at him. <laughs> He's like, I don't like to be a prop, Bob. I like to be a dog. And he's like looking out the window but just you know animal therapy of any sort like even if you want to go to like a petting zoo or go to a pet store and just pet dogs or I don't know that's been really helpful lately for me anyways just being around my dogs has been really really helpful and he's so cuddly cute and I love him um so yeah Ted that's that's all I needed you for Ted <laughs> Um, but that's been really helpful as well because not only are they good in terms of, you know, cuddle buddies, but they're good in terms of getting you, you know, I look at him and it reminds me to like go for a walk for instance. So, um, and it gets him excited. It gets me excited. It gets us out and about. So, um, highly recommend that. Um, or even just, you know, holding on to stuffed animals, um, blank favorite blankets that you may have that you can just cuddle with just having a cuddle buddy in general or if you have a significant other you can cuddle with them you know just even a hug a simple hug makes the difference honestly um and you know if you haven't been hugged or cuddled in a while just hug an animal hug a stuffed animal hug a person whether it's your mom your dad your friend whatever <laughs> like it doesn't matter um just get that, I was going to say get that loving in, but that just sounds weird. <laughs> but um, I hope that I was able to kind of give you some tools and things to kind of focus on in terms of revamping your mental health, um, journaling, reading. Maybe if you're into spirituality, you know, you could do some tarot and oracle based around this. So then you could see what pops up for you. Um also, I just wanted to kind of end this with this note of just, um, as you guys know, I've been going on my little weight loss journey and uh, that has definitely put a damper on my mental health, just, you know, um, good and bad. Like in the beginning, it was good because I lost 12 pounds and all of that, but then it got bad when I gained three pounds back. And so... It's been an ebb and flow, and I talked about this over on my TikTok, so feel free to go follow my TikTok at Starsketch um, for more weight loss journey-related things. But that is definitely, you know, um, for good, for more good than bad when it comes to, like, mental health and my weight loss. Bad was when I would put myself down and doubt myself when I gained those three pounds, but good because I've been choosing healthier things. It's been getting my body moving. Um, and overall, I've been drinking a lot more water, which has been super helpful. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to end it off with that. Just, 
you know, if an idea for re revamping your mental health or spring cleaning your mental health could be your physical health. Have you been exercising? Have you been eating health like healthier? Have you been drinking enough water? Have you given yourself enough sleep? Have you been just moving your body in general as much as you can? Have you been sitting more than standing? Those kind of things. Those are definitely some things to think about and um, really do coincide with your mental health. Um, and just one other thing is just creating boundaries. You know, if you're like me and you're trying to be off your phone more or less than how you have, than how you have been, um, just let your friends know and be like, hey, if I don't respond right away, it's not because I don't want to talk to you. It's because I'm doing things that are off my phone, off the computer, off my iPad, whatever. But I will make time for you eventually. It just won't be right now because I'm going to be focusing on other things. Just communication is key. Just communicate with the people around you. And if they don't appreciate it, then... Let them be upset because you're doing this for you. And if they don't appreciate it or if they don't respect it, then they're just not good to have in your life and they don't respect you as much as you thought they did. So, period. <laughs> so that is going to be our little Erin Talks video for today. I've been talking your ear off for about 26 minutes now, but I hope that you gained a lot of insight and gained a lot of knowledge or wisdom or whatever you want to call it. Um from me today and um I hope that it helps I hope that talking about these things and stuff and speaking of talking about things I forgot to mention one other thing um therapy period don't need to say much about that get into therapy if you can um you know even get a life coach if possible do um online therapy groups or just talk to somebody no matter who it is, if even if you can't afford therapy, just talk to somebody, get a second perspective on things before you just jump into these plans. Because having a second perce uh, perception of things, uh, perspective, I should say, um, will really help you to be like, okay, those, they'll be like, yeah, those things will work. Well, how about this? And you're like, oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. So that sort of thing. Um, just wanted to add that little tad bit in there. Therapy is also really beneficial just in general with your emotional health as well. I probably cry every therapy session, but I mean, it's like my dedicated crying time, like sometimes just to like let everything out, you know, with no judgment. So yeah, but with all that being said, I got everything covered that I needed to talk about, which is awesome. Um, But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on it down below or if you have any other ideas on, you know, just in general of how to revamp your mental health, how to spring clean your mental health, any of those things. Let me know in the comment section down below. And with that being said, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.